I just want to trade a few things. I'll do well. Promise. The worst mess I see. No! Stop it! <laughs> been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Davy? Davy, what are you doing here? You're dead! You're dead! <laughs> Some people complain, but not me. Just happy to be here. So strange having people about. I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain. It's a menace. vault -Tech scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to... socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good. With chemistry. What? Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem. You worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, 
Right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just... special chemicals. <laughs> what type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But from what I've read, the R&D folks really outdid themselves. It's okay. You can trust us, Clem. Maintaining Clem's trust isn't the focus of these experiments. Our collective welfare is. So build the service <sighs> and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. What's that tree? Thanks. Yes, I'm open for business. Soda fountain is open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. Hey there. You here to check up? I got a customer right here. Didn't see you at dinner. I had a pee. One pee. Stuffed. Well, if you want another drink, sure. Maybe that'll help. <clears throat> to think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Ah, it fills me with pride. On to the next prototype. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks, but that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. Times are desperate. We do what we must to survive. What price isn't worth paying to protect the American way? Right. So, enter the Voltec Foraptor. A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. But, potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit... well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But the results will be worth it. Nuclear material, you say? <laughs> what could go wrong? I know. It's foolproof. But don't fret about the nuclear material. We chose this site for Vault 88. Because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. This is delicious! 